During CES 2020, I had the opportunity to talk with a gentleman from the FAA on the subject matter of remote ID and UAS service suppliers. Service suppliers are basically the people who will be holding the repository information on us. If your F, uh, UAV doesn't comply today, it's not going to comply tomorrow. That's why they considered ADSB in as well as out. But the fact that uh, everything we have would have to be retrofit for out because of their costs to track us, they're not going to impl implement that. See, the person I was talking to from the FAA, the way he took it was that only law enforcement was going to be able to uh, see your exact location and your exact name, address, and the rest of that. But that is not what the document says. It says the, right here, Declaration of Compliance. The FAA is proposing to require persons responsible for the UAS remote ID to uh, have the name, physical address, telephone number, email address of the person responsible, the UAS make model, serial numbers, the range of serial numbers for the ones you have. You're born. Right. Now keep in mind, the rule is just a proposed rule right now, yeah. so it's in its right. infancy. But the, the concept is when you're flying, you've got your controller, you're right. broadcasting your position, your drone is broadcasting its position and its identification. And another operator over here who's flying goes, okay, I see James is operating over there. Right. And it's not James, it's a, it's a serial number. Of course. It's a number. So I've got an operator over here, his drone's over there, mine's up here, we're good. And so that's the concept of ID. Or by the uh, the opposite token would be there's a drone encroaching on controlled airspace. Law enforcement can now go. That's drone number 23. That belongs to operator 23. I know where operator 23 is. I'm going to go ask him why he's flying the controlled airspace. That's not a problem either. Uh, no problem. Go we'll critical infrastructure. We have to protect what we have to protect. But, I don't think anybody knows that, that not every Tom, Dick, and Harry is going to just go on the app and be able to see where you are located. Yeah, they're, they're not going to be able to. End of discussion. That okay, so we see this gentleman's interpretation uh, as of CES, but the document itself is very ambiguous, and there's a lot of flexibility there. Look at the facts that nothing will be grandfathered in, that everybody will have to be part of the federal information management system, um, that the USS or UAV service suppliers, there's nothing there as to whether they can charge for having the depository information. Remember that it's all right now up in the air, and the FAA needs our opinion and I believe they will take that into consideration because the current system is, is too wide open and could, quite frankly, ruin a hobby. So I'm going to leave the document information below. You need to review, see what others are replying to or how they're replying to it, and please leave your own reply. Thanks.